This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at Naval Station Everett with the USS Abraham Lincoln behind us. Joining me right now is Terry Edwards, who is Associate Superintendent and Chief Academic Officer for the Everett School District. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Oh, thank you. I know a big priority uh, for your office was to improve graduation rates in the Everett School District. Why is that? Was there a problem? Were they low? Well, there was a problem. About eight years ago, the state changed how they measure graduation rates. And at that time, uh, the state moved to more of a cohort model that's a more accurate way of measuring how kids actually move through high school and actually graduate. When that happened, our graduation rate first year was 53%. And that was a big change for us. We thought we were doing much better than that. So that was a major wake-up call for us of what's happening with kids coming through our system. We didn't think it was that bad, but we needed to regroup. And our board was very insistent and very clear to us that that was an unacceptable number and we needed to find ways of fixing it. So seven years ago, you all made the decision to form a committee, and this is an ongoing committee, to change those numbers to improve the graduation rates. Right, we actually began with with a task force that looked at the problem right away and then one of the recommendations out of that task force was to form an ongoing committee and that committee has met every Tuesday morning at 7 o'clock uh, since 2003 dealing with how do we help kids get through school and make sure we get graduates. So what did you all do and as a result what kind of graduation rates are you seeing now? Well, uh, those first years we did a lot of work on looking at how we collect data, how we report data, uh, very not real um, sexy sorts of things, but making sure our business practices were right, making sure schools knew who the kids were in trouble. And then from there we kept identifying the next step, next problem. Uh, one of the earliest things we did was, as actually a recommendation out of the task force, was to create a position we've called success coordinators. And these are uh, classified people, they're not teachers, they're support folks, and their job is to take the names of the kids that are having trouble and then follow up with those students and follow up with their parents and make sure they're getting to class and make sure they're getting what they need, their homework turned in and what they need to happen. And those people have really become kind of the school mom for a lot of kids mm. to help nudge them along and keep them moving Make sure on that the they're track. on track to right, graduate. Right. And as a result, what kind of graduation rates are you seeing now? Well, we were real thrilled at the end of 2009 school year, that's our last group of graduates, we were at 84% of our students that entered ninth grade graduated four years later on time. So you're and, going from 53% to 84%. Right, yeah, but even more than that because our board has been real clear that graduating on time is important, but what's even more important is that a student actually graduates, even if it takes five more than years. More four years. So for the students that stay with us for that extra year, we're, we're a little bit over 90% of the kids now graduating from high school. Fantastic. What else did you do in addition to uh, implementing the success coordinators? I understand maybe change some of the classes that weren't incredibly exciting? Right. Well, we, uh, we started by looking at where kids have trouble. So we did an analysis of all of the classes and the pass rates in all those classes. And what we found are certain classes had really high failure rates. And some of them were understandable. Algebra 1 is a tough class and kids were having trouble with it. But other classes uh, were surprised prizes to us. We, we used to have a graduation requirement that we called InfoTech, Information Technology, and it had grown out of a typing requirement from the 70s and it kind of morphed into a technology requirement where kids would need to know how to use the internet and how to use Word. And, how, and what had evolved over time is that we ended up with about a 30% failure rate in the class and we couldn't understand that because we, our district is very advanced in technology, our kids use technology all the time, and what we found is we started pre-testing the kids when they came in, they already knew most of the information. Uh, and they were actually checking out more than engaging. Mm. So we still have the course, but we've revamped the course to be much more rigorous in terms of what kids are learning. And we eliminated it as a graduation requirement because the kids already had that knowledge going in. Terry Edwards, Associate Superintendent, Chief Academic Officer, Everett School District. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top of the hour.